Chip shot goal and Lancaster's on the scoreboard. 90 seconds left in the first checker. Balls quickly out of the back. Bounces up against the sideboard. Looks like it's going to be Lancaster in the familiar red and white versus Rabbit Hill sporting the new green and white shirts which were introduced last week during Caribbean Cup. Hope you all saw the nice article in the paper this week in the Lidditz paper about the tailgate competition last week. Congratulations to all the contestants, the judges, and especially the winners. If you haven't been up to watch a polo match here at Forney Field, once the match starts, the horses and riders do come across the red sideboards, and a foul ball in polo does happen. Your referee today is Donnie Aiken, founder of Caltown Polo Club. Donnie and his wife are up here just about every Sunday helping us out, and we do appreciate their support. Looks like number two for Rabbit Hill, young Nick Vidal, is sporting the helmet cam again today. If you were here last week, Nick filmed several chuckers with the helmet cam. Let's begin by introducing visiting Rabbit Hill. Ladies first, please welcome Audrey Van Lubinay. Audrey, Audrey. Shariah Harris from Work to Ride. Mark Harris also from Work to Ride and Nick Vidal completes the team for Rabbit Hill sporting those nice green jerseys. Now your hometown heroes. Let's introduce young Malachi Lyles. Let's introduce Mike Moe, number three, and number four is Kevin Brocky. Sorry, I don't know number two's name. I guess you're playing for... Marisol. Marisol, playing for Work to Ride. Okay, I'm going to turn the mic over to Michelle for the uh, singing of the Star Spangled Banner. Please salute the colors besides the, beside the announcer's stand. Take it away, Michelle. early light oh, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the on the referee for the throw-in. You'll see six seven-minute chuckers, which is polo parlance for period. Balls into the pack of ponies. Audrey Van Luvenay gets it going for Team Green, Rabbit Hill. Shariah Harris keeps it alive for the green team. Nick Vidal. Back by Van Luvenay as the dust flies on a hot, dry turf at Forney Field. Vidal keeping it alive. Shot, rolling, goal. Rabbit Hill quickly on the scoreboard. Rabbit Hill with the first goal of the afternoon. About 90 seconds into the first chucker. Yeah. <laughs> 
teams switch goals after each score, so Rabbit Hill will be going down toward the lower goal. Tack time out. Balls into the pack of ponies. Van Luvenay trying to knock it out. Plays it off a pony. There's Brocky. Mike Bowen's going to take it over to the painted planks right in front of the chucker fence. Rabbit Hill 2, Lancaster 0. Brocky is shadowed by Van Luvenay. And Van Luvenay gets there first. Ball's back by Mike Moan. Red team trying to keep it going. Young work to rider, working it toward lower goal. Ball's right in front of the goal. Chip shot goal, and Lancaster's on the scoreboard. Okay. That goal was scored by uh, the young rider, I believe the name is Marisol, for work to ride. Lancaster on the board. 90 seconds left in the first chucker. Thanks for your help on the far side scoreboard. Polo up here every Sunday, June through Columbus Day weekend. Rabbit Hill puts it back into play. Lancaster setting up the defense. Players line up quickly on referee Donnie Aiken for throwing. Clock continues to roll. Balls quickly out of the pack. Bounces up against the sideboards. Van Luvene moving in. Nick Vidal's there in the nick of time with the helmet cam for the rolling toward goal. Lancaster's there for the tap in. Well done. Good teamwork. Lancaster coming back. Keeping it close. Fourth goal of the contest. Lancaster four. Team Green five. We got dust. We got wine. We got excitement. What more do you want? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Weiss with LCTV Channel 66 and we're here today at Forney Field in Rossville for the Lancaster Polo Match and Local Vineyard Day. Today I'm speaking with Kim Waltz, owner of Waltz Vineyards. Hi Kim, how are you? I'm doing fine today, thank you Michelle. Waltz Vineyards is located in Mannheim and they do a terrific business and are so well renowned all over for their fantastic fantastic wines. Today, Kim's going to tell us a little bit of the history and some of their wines. So, how did it all get started, Kim? Well, we had an inspiring trip to California, my husband and I, one day many, many years ago, 1996. And uh, when we came back, we started to research uh, grape growing and test our soils a little bit and decided we were going to go ahead and try to plant some vines on our sixth generation farm in Lancaster County. Wow. Wow. So that's how we got started. And uh, yeah, today we are producing many different varieties of the Bordeaux and the Burgundian clones. Mm. We make about 3,000 cases every year. And <sighs> That's we're, a lot of wine. Yeah, it's a ton of wine. And we are doing that on about 26 acres um, in Mannheim, Pennsylvania. 
Wow. And I know one of my favorites, of course, I'm from Mannheim and it's the Baron Red for the Mannheim Central Barons, yes. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> um, Kim, how many people uh, visit your winery a year? Wow. I don't have a really good handle on the number because now we have three different shops. Oh. Um, and yeah. where are they located? Okay. One is in Mannheim at the winery, of course. Okay. And then we have a small shop in Lidditz. And we also have a new large shop at Kitchen Kettle Village in Intercourse. That just opened. Yes, just opened. Fantastic. So we are seeing a lot of tourism out there and okay. also in Lidditz. And the winery itself sees almost every state in the nation every year. Wow. So I can't give you a real accurate count of how many people, but I can tell you word is getting around about Walt's Vineyard. So yes. I'm excited about that. Oh, I'm sure. And you can also take a tour of the winery, correct? Yeah, you can take a tour of the winery. Um, we um, have also a um, crush pad that we're just getting ready to use because tomorrow we'll start our hand picking process. Great. And yes, we'll begin with our whites tomorrow and we'll hand pick right through uh, to finish the whites, all the time crushing on the crush pad and then we start the okay. fermentation process inside the winery. So the crush pad, is that like Lucy with the feet? Yeah, or I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, that does sound like a fun party I'm going to throw one day. <laughs> but so far we haven't done that. It is very high tech actually. Yes, we're I'm sure. We're using um, equipment from Italy. In fact, wow. we just got a new press that was brought in from Italy specifically for the whites. And um, we use all French barrels um, in our oak aging process. Wow. So it is it is a very sophisticated science and art and passion all wrapped into one. Wow, that is fantastic. And today uh, you're here. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing today. Well, today I am visiting Forney Field for my first polo match. And we're going to do a little tasting um, right here. We're going to let everybody know who we are and where we're located. Um, we're selling wine by the glass and by the bottle to okay. enjoy through the polo match, but also really just a nice local promotion um, between the polo field and, and us at home. Great. And how can people, uh, what is your website? Website is uh, waltzvineyards.com. Okay. And they can uh, call or email you with events. You've got some events that happen during the year. Tell us a little bit about them. Yes. Yeah, so we do some concerts at the winery and we also have some wine pairing dinners at some local restaurants. Our wines are carried in about 10 local restaurants. Um, That's fantastic. Yeah. And they're doing very well. So we like to do some wine pairing dinners at those establishments. And uh, we, we also have some fun fundraisers we're involved with this fall to uh, help give back to the community and show our support. That is great. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us today. We've been talking with Kim Waltz, owner of Waltz Vineyards Mannheim. Please visit their website. Please take a tour of their winery and also visit any one of their three stores. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. We're only going to do five chuckers today due to the uh, hard turf conditions yeah. and the dust the corner, and all that jazz and it's Labor Day. Okay, away we go. Start of the second half, Chucker four. Vidal leading Rabbit Hill out of the pack. Backed by Ellen Tracy. Van Luvene circling around, answering. Audrey Van Luvene. Van Luvene off to the races for Rabbit Hill. Ball rolls toward goal. There's Nick Vidal. Rabbit Hill tying it up quickly. Young Nick Vidal right there with the helmet cam goal. All tied up, 6-6. Here comes Malachi Lyles. Looking for some teammate help. Vidal in the nick of time for Rabbit Hill. Tough angle working toward upper goal. Nick Vidal, smartly downfield for Green Team. Brocky giving chase. Ball rolls toward lower goal, waved off, cloud of dust. Rabbit Hill trying to set it up. Malachi Lyles. Vidal going airborne. Tough angle right down by the end line. Van Luvene. About a minute left in the chucker. You'll hear a warning horn at 30 seconds. Kevin Brocky trying to get it going for the red team. Playing it off the sideboards on the far side near last week's tailgate winner, Mark and Wheezy. There's our beloved 30 second horn by our beloved horn blower. 
Rocky puts it back into play off the penalty. We'll put a little bit of time back on the clock. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. I'm going to guess that's Van Leeuwenay giving chase. Look at Audrey accelerate, going for the hook. Lancaster keeping it alive. Time expires. Malachi Lyles is there for the final shot. Score stands. Rabbit Hill 9, Lancaster 6. We have one more chucker to go this afternoon. We're only going to play 5 instead of the usual 6. Play continues. Lancaster working it toward upper goal. Ball drifts right by the goal, but it goes wide right. Robbie waves it off. Rabbit Hill will set it up on the end line. Clock continues to run. Final chucker today. Vidal trying to bust through the pack. Van Leuvenay taking the Polo Pellet airborne. Audrey Van Leuvenay accelerates by Mike Moan. Ahead to Vidal. Ponies put on the brakes. Malachi Lyles keeping it going for Team Green. Malachi on a mission toward lower goal. Wide, left, cloud of dust. Lancaster will set it up on the end line. Clock continues to run. Ball goes airborne on the far side. Lancaster trying to work it. Lyles and Harris. Moon, big booming shot toward upper goal as the ponies chase after it. Ball's right there, Moon, chip shot goal, Lancaster, dramatic fashion, seventh goal. Four minutes left in the match, Lancaster, seventh goal. Moan alone. Harris and Vidal doing battle. Lyles trying to work it out of the pack. Ahead to Audrey Van Leuvenay. Van Leuvenay. Malachi. Nice shot. Goal. Wow. Malachi Lyles getting it done quickly. Sending Rabbit Hill into double digits. Ten to seven. Giving our scorekeepers another workout today. 10 to 7, Rabbit Hill. Van Luminay quickly out of the pack. Checked by Lancaster. Back to Van Luminay. Van Luminay answering shot. Ahead to Malachi. Malachi on the attack for Team Green. Vidal there in the nick of time giving some teammate help. Lancaster putting it back into play. Rocky back on attack. Getting some help from Mark Harris, number two in red. Harris on the fly toward upper goal. Vidal going for the back shot for Team Green. Moan trying to keep it alive. Van Luvenay's there for Rabbit Hill. Audrey Van Luvenay, about a minute left. Vidal in the nick of time for Team Green, sending it in toward the lower goal. Headed toward the horn. 30 seconds. That'll do it. Rabbit Hill tops Lancaster 10 to 7 today. Dusty day at Forney Field, Owen. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, Waltz Vineyards. Thank you, Work to Ride. Thanks to all the players, flaggers, timers, scorekeepers, everybody that keeps this place going. Hornblowers, yes. Players shake hands. They'll do the traditional ride around. I want to thank LCTV for coming out today to film the match. I also want to thank the Lidditz paper for their great support and coverage this season. Please follow Lancaster Polo Club on Facebook. Thank you for your support.
Let's give a hand to all the players, all the grooms, hot walkers, truck drivers, polo widows. It takes a village. Scorekeepers. For Rabbit Hill, Nick Fidel, Malachi Lyles, Shariah Harris, Audrey Van Leuvenay. For Lancaster, Mike Moan, Kevin Brocky, Mark Harris, Ellen Tracy, Ken McSherry. Your referee, Donnie Akins. <laughs> Malachi Lyles, Mark Harris.